Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be returning to our realistically designed solar system for part 4. So, if you remember last episode we made the realistic Earth-like world and gave it its little moon system as well. So yeah, here is the, uh, the planet here. And I told you, I was very, very pleased with the way that turned out. I think it looks great. The blue, the green uh, landscape there. We've got the whiter zones as well for the polar areas. Obviously, there's a few little high areas of snow as well, the high elevation. Gave it some little city lights as well, nice storm clouds. It's, it's a good-looking world, I think. I think I did good with that. And it looks like you guys enjoyed it as well. But yeah, one of the comments um, said to name it this. So, Genitus. Or Jane Tass, have you want to call it, but um, there we go, looking good. So there we are. Those moons, remember, they were a little wobbly, but I'm hoping they should just hopefully stay all together. They were slightly bouncing around, but it should be okay, actually. So I'm hoping that um, we won't have to come back to this later in this episode and uh, see it all broken. But for now, moving on to today's uh, world, the Ice Giant. That's one I've been planning. It's definitely one I wanted to do. And I know you guys wanted to see this as well. But, I mean, there's so many more ideas that we're going to be doing in this. We're going to definitely have at least nine knob planets in here. So, yeah, we've got a good lineup so far. We've got the venus light world. Effectively, we've got the earth light world. And then we've got our sort of dominant gas giant over here. But this time, we're going for an ice giant. So, I'm going to go further out than this. So, remember, we're using Sirius as our star as well. So, we do have a slightly different habitable zone to the sun at 25 luminosity. But either way, random... Okay, so we're just going to have a random gas giant and we're going to make this into our build. So I'm going to give it a slightly ex more eccentric kind of orbit as well. Always the default names, isn't it? <laughs> we'll go with Vitiness for now. Right. So 18 kilometers. I mean, that's, we're looking at sort of, that's sort of kind of a Uranus kind of distance. I think that's a pretty... We've got about 20 in between Uranus and Neptune, around 22, 23. I think that's a, a decent distance there. So we could definitely fit another planet in between those as well if we need to. Should be should be quite good. Uh, I think a little more. Let's go 24. So a little more on the Neptune scale, I guess. So I'm going to place it there. Slightly tilt its orbit. Then first of all, before we even get to customization, motion. Now I want to give it a little eccentricity. So I'm just going to increase that a bit so as you can see just a t you know something something a eh, little too much something more like this maybe and then i'm going to actually decrease this down a bit back to about 23 so just a slight sort of inclined or well, maybe that's a little too big i think maybe we'll squeeze that in there maybe because maybe this would be the first another gas maybe we'll have another gas giant further out than this at some point so okay something like that yeah so Comparing that to our dominant gas giant, so how, how far roughly is that? So if we just look, we go just orbit in the sun here, so at their closest point. So first gas giant, that's about 9 AU, but then if we go to the closest point of this orbit, that's going up to about 14. So I mean, that should that should be functional. Remember, this guy is about 1 Jupiter. I'm thinking just a tad more then. Let's pull it up to about 56 years orbit-wise. Thinking that's uh, looking good, and then just yeah, there's a tiny bit more inclination, a little too much there. Let's just lower it manually. Just want it slightly off the uh, the scale, but not too much. So, I think something more like that should be good. Right. Anyways, the planet itself is so tilted as well. Should we keep it tilted? Yeah, I think we could keep it tilted. Right. So, ice giant. First of all, colours. This is where we want to go, and then secondly, the size. How large do we want it? So. Maybe I'll make it more of a Saturn size. I mean, we've already got a Jupiter dominant gas giant, so I'm thinking... 74 masses of Earth, maybe a little more. Go up to maybe 89, yeah. So if we go back to Jupiter's, 0.282 Jupiters. Radius-wise, we're going kilometres, 59. So that roughly is around the size of Saturn. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Right. Bands. So... Do we want to go more of a Uranus blue or more of a Neptune blue? That's the question. Or we could try and go for a mix, maybe. But those two colours could be a bit weird together. Hmm. Right. How do we want to do this? We could try and meet in between on the colours, more of a mix between Uranus Neptune kind of blues. Alright, let's try this. I'm gonna I'm gonna try building off this. Because remember, we can't have 
really, really enhanced colours, high saturation. We want more pale colours, that's the more realistic look for it. So, I'm going to go up for, say, this many bands to start off with. Actually, how many did our Jupiter light world have over there? So, so we, gave it, we gave it a fair few, didn't we? Okay, so we'll start off with this and see how we do. So, I think in the deeper, at the top, we'll go with the deeper shades, maybe. So, kind of like the more... Neptune-y kind of shades. I know Neptune's poles have like the deeper blue, doesn't it? So I'm going to try and use that as inspiration. And then as we slowly work our way out, maybe just slightly have more and more maybe lighter shades of blue and just try and blend it in nicely together. So it's all about the colour blending, I find, as well when making gas nuts. Is you can't have the colours just go from one to another because it does look really, really silly, I think. So you do want to just blend those colours quite nicely together. So I'm thinking something like this could be good so far. So you can kind of see it's, I'm slowly blending like Neptune and Uranus shades together. To see what we kind of end up with. Because I'm, I'm not really sure what I want the end product to be yet. I'm just sort of going with the flow here. And seeing what we could come up with. Maybe like a deeper. Maybe have another deeper blue band in the middle there. Then go for a lighter. More lighter Uranus kind of blue. And then have a few have a few more Uranus blues maybe in there. And then go for another deeper Neptune kind of shade of blue. A little further down. Maybe that one's a little more too potent there. Okay. So it's coming. Yeah. I think maybe this band here needs a little more blue to it, a little deeper. Somewhere there, I don't want it to be too insane, but I think something like that. And this colour, make that a little more pale as well. Okay, and then back to the Uranus shades of blue again. So the, the paler, more teal kind of shade of blue, compared to Neptune's deeper blue. So, there we go, let's just get a look underneath it as well. I'm thinking maybe more bands, actually. I'm actually going to add another row there. See, this blue here, I don't like that at all. That needs to change now. Okay, I'm just going to leave those as deeper blues for now. We'll come back to those. Just so I can sort of bookmark which band is which. Because these definitely need to be colour blended better, 100%. Um, but we'll just, have, we'll just put a rough draft together first, and then we'll sort of build off that, so... I do think the Neptune Blues maybe stand out a bit too much. We need to blend the other colours nearby a bit more to them first, I think. So, there we go. And actually, I'm just going to change the tilt just so we can actually see in-game what we're looking at there. Okay, that's Bella. And then at the very bottom, we'll have the deeper deeper blue, maybe. Now, do I want to go more on that? So, that's a rough draft of what we got so far. It's not, not looking too bad. But I do think these dark blues, they're a little too potent. They need a little more colour blending into them, I think. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another, another row. Yeah, go over one more row. I think. So I don't want it to be as complex as the main gas giant as well, effectively. I'm going to have it a little more simple. So we'll just get the band sort of finished up as a rough idea of what we're after. So there we are. Okay, right. And the bottom band, deeper blue. Right, so I'm going to build off this now. So very bottom, we've got the deeper blue. And then I'm going to slowly start sort of blending this out a bit. So she just tilt it on its side so we can get a good look at that. So, right. So deep blue, and it goes to the more of the teal shades. And then we just try, so, so that's a little too enhanced. Then this shade here, oh yes, okay. This shade here maybe looks a little too green for my liking. Yeah, that's a too much so we're gonna just fade that down a bit make it a little more blue then we've got the first sort of deeper blue shade again so i'm actually gonna pale that out make it a little more somewhere there and moving up maybe have this as a deep blue shade mm, i don't know and then this blue as well just make it a little more paler I think it's this second colour I don't like as much as it is. Uh, so you, you fix one thing and then there's something else you don't like about something you've already done. Make it deeper blue maybe? Make it more of a paler blue? I'm going to leave it like that for now and come back to that. Okay, there we go. This blue here. Oh, okay, so this is quite a big band. Now, do we want that as a deeper blue? Let's go to the 
Neptune more, more Neptune blue shades, make it a little more paler. Fit it in there. So it's almost having like a purple look just to the other colours sort of mixed with it. Yeah, interesting. So moving on to this shade here. So this shade mixes in with that shade quite a lot. So we need to make sure this shade is blends quite nicely. So I'm actually going to make that a little more deeper. Have a little more white mix in there maybe. Then this bad and next. So the, 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 just the complexity into Gas Giant design can really, really take time. So I'm just trying to get it exactly how I want it. But, you know, this can take ages. You know, the people who have made, like, thousand band planets in the modern files, I mean, that, that just takes it for that. It's just insane. You know, the people back in the day that made the realistic, like, Neptune Uranuses with, like, thousands of bands, they were just absolutely insane making those. <laughs> the amount of time it takes would just be insanity. Right, I think so far, though, we're, I'm actually going to tilt it back now. Yeah, I'm liking that. This deep blue band at the top needs to be pet more pale, though. So we need to blend back into that a bit more. What's this middle band? Is that this one? It is, okay. So. There we go. So then similar for this shade. That's the one we're looking for. Just pale it out a bit more. Then we've got a band that's a little too white. Let's just mix that in a bit more. Maybe a little more paler blue there. But yeah, we've got a good sort of Neptune Uranus kind of mix of hybrid mix here. It's looking pretty cool. I'm actually going to deepen down some of these other colours here just so I can sort of mix those two a little better. So that's that band there. Let's make that a little more sky blue. There you go, okay. This area down here is looking a little too similar in colour. Let's get it smooth. This band here, it needs a change, yeah, okay. Ooh, uh, yeah, okay, that band there is looking too green. That's this one. It'll make it more pale. There's still a band. This band here is looking a little too teal for my liking. Let's make that a little more pale. We can make it a little more on the brighter side there. And it's still not. I don't know if I'm still too keen on this. I think that needs to be a little more pale. And I think all the blue, the deep blues, need to be a tad more pale just to kind of blend the colours in better. And then that middle one there, still not keen on that. But then they start looking purple if I make them too, too much like that, though. So maybe I need to just sort of re rethink this. So I'm going to actually deepen these blues again. So they're the two sort of strong bands. I think there's a third one sort of... That's not that one. It's, is it this one? So we've got the sort of stronger deep blues. And I kind of want to work around mixing these better together. So let's try making the colours around them a little more potent maybe just slightly just increase the bus maybe maybe I just want to make it a little more a little more color to it how does that look uh, oh it's a tough one isn't it uh, maybe just have a mix of the the whiter shades in there and then a few more of the potent colors make that guy a little more pale so I'm, so I'm gonna move this band up here as well. Make that a little more paler. So now the top's looking a lot more pale since we've done that. So let's just slowly blend those colours in a little better. Okay. But it's not looking bad, don't get me wrong. But, you know, I like to make it look perfect. I try and make it look perfect. But what is perfect? Now we're looking at let's just rotate that round. See, there's a little too much blue going on at the top now. I'm gonna make the, the the central area a real deep blue, then start paying it, making it a little more paler around. Oh my gosh, that is way too too much going on there. Oh, this band is uh, not that one. This band here is a crucial one to get right. 
uh, somewhere there, maybe. And we start sort of making that more of a pale shade as it blends out into the rest of the gas giant, maybe. Ah, okay. Maybe just a, maybe one or one lighter shade in there. This shade here is too much Uranus kind of blue. I think we just make that a little more deeper in there. This shade's too white. Because when you change one colour, it kind of can affect how another colour looks as well. There we go. All right, now I want to blend into this deep blue band a bit more at the top here. See, so look how much of a difference that can make, just the one band above it. Make it more of a sky blue there. That's the next band along, so make that more of a paler, paler blue. So how's that looking there? I mean, it doesn't look bad. I mean, it looks all right, to be honest. The deep blue band at the bottom, I think that actually needs to move up one. So is it this colour here? Yeah, this colour here, I want this actually to be the deeper blue. And the band next to it to be the more pale. That's to be more of a pale shade. So let's try something like that, maybe. A little more of a paler blue. Yeah, okay. So you've got like one, two, three deep blue bands. Maybe a fourth one at the bottom here. So I think maybe this, not that. Maybe, I don't know, could do. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is way too much. Somewhere around there. Maybe not. Maybe that more pale again. Maybe a cut a little further down. Somewhere there, maybe. And it's just that dark colour there. What is that? What colour is causing that? Is that this one? No. Not sure what colour. Is it this one? Yeah, okay, there we go, right. I mean, it... it <laughs> Yeah, it's very good at that bottom one there. Still looks a little too purpley for my liking. Let's make it a little more. A little lighter blue, maybe. See, what I can do is just simply copy the colour, one of the deep colours already. Copy that and actually paste it in there, because I know it is the same shade. Exactly the same shade. So there's the, which one's the middle band? Is that this one, isn't it? Yeah, that's our middle band, so I'm actually going to deepen the blue there slightly. I do feel like the, the band underneath it's a little closer than the band up here. So maybe I need to move this band here down. So this is it, this one, isn't it? So I'm actually going to move, pale that back out, and then make the next colour underneath it a little more dim, I guess. Oh, it really is difficult to get these correct, isn't it? And I keep changing my mind halfway through. <laughs> is it that one? Okay, that's the band I need changing. Okay, so I want to make the band underneath it actually the deeper blue in that case. So I'm actually going to paste that in there. And then make this band a little lighter shade again. Just get that right. Get the, get the colour in there. Okay. this one as well make two bands of the same color just to make it a little bigger yeah well that really makes a difference doing that one doesn't it Ooh. then maybe i'll just make the middle band that color as well just for continuity and then just slowly fade these upper colors out actually never mind so then you get something like that maybe now that that it definitely has to be this one that's coloured like that, definitely. And the colours next to it, we'll just uh, put those back so roughly the way they were. Okay, right. I'm gonna settle with that, and then slightly further at the top again. I think we need another deep blue shade up here. I think it's this colour. There we go. And I think that the bottom of it, I think, is pretty good. I'm, I'm liking the bottom of it. I'm not gonna change the bottom. And then the top, it's got the deep. It's got the deep blue at the top. Bottom's got the deep blue. So maybe the top, we just need to make a little more pale colour around the top. 
Yeah. And then maybe keep that pale. This shade here. Yeah, okay, right. So this one here, we're going to make that slightly deeper. Only by a little bit, but just just a tad. Until we get something like that. That the core area is a lot bigger than the one at the top. I should make it the same as the rest of our bands. And the same with the very bottom band. Let's make them the exact same colour. So if I had another band, would that... So that would shake it up a bit. So if I did this... But it just burns our middle bands out a bit more. I actually, I'm actually going to roll with that. I think that looks a little better. Can I copy and paste that? Oh, oh okay, fine. Let's copy again. And then paste that in there. Okay, that, there we go. And then just blend these other colours in. Easily done. Change the original colour to a little paler version of it. And there you go. And make this sky a little more. Yeah, and then I think that is roughly, oh, just one more colour maybe, no, not that one, this one, no, this one, no, definitely not, that one, this one, oh, it really is, you know, just, I, I want to say this isn't just about finishing off, make that actually the deep blue there, just mix it in, and then, just getting these colours right now. Now we definitely need some paler, the paler blue, sir. So here we go. This is my sort of attempt at a sort of Uranus Neptune mix of colour in the same ice giant. And I gotta say, yeah, it's not looking too bad actually. And I'm pretty pleased with the way that's actually turned out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's looking good. I'm, I rate that. What do you guys think of that? And then we'll put it back on its tilt it originally has. It was slightly tilted. It's kind of like a Neptune kind of tilt. There you go. Right, that is that done. And I'm going to save before I do anything silly and get that in the sim. There you go. Whew. So how long did that take us? Okay, less than, less than 25 minutes. Okay, could be worse. <laughs> Look how many bands I put. That's not even as many as the other gas giant. I've got to say, I'm very, very pleased with that. I think that's looking that's looking pretty solid. So, we've got our realistic gas giant, ice giant. So, moons. So, let's just get it spinning. So, how fast is it rotating? Let's just try and go through a Uranus-Neptune kind of time. So, Uranus and Neptune, so Neptune is 17 hours, isn't it? And I think Uranus is 14, if I remember right. So, we're going to go in the middle. We're going to go with hours... I'm going to go with about 15.5. That's a big number. No, don't do that. 15.5. There we go. So we'll mi in mix in between Uranus and Neptune times, so if I remember correctly. So let's actually just compare them to the Uranus and Neptune we have. So there's Uranus. It's a lot bigger than Uranus and Neptune, isn't it? Because this is a Saturn kind of mass version. So effectively, this would be the second most dominant object in the system. So you can see it does take their colours quite nicely. We'll just get a comparison with all of them here. So, I mean, this isn't the most realistic looking Uranus in the world, but the Neptune looks good, though. So, I mean, you can kind, you can see that, that is a blend between the two. So I think looking now looking at that, I think I've done a good job. I mean, if I was to use the more realistic versions or the more realistic version of Uranus as this, I mean, I could put that there as well. And put the, I guess I can put the realistic Neptune in as well. But again, yeah, it definitely it definitely meets the colour description, you know, the colour requirement, if you ask me. That's looking very, very nice. So, yeah, that, that's a good job, if you ask me. <laughs> so, Uran-Tune. There we go, I think that's a, a good mix between the two. Uran-Tune. 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 Yeah, let's go with that. Right, so in a bit it is bigger. Um, we'll make it contain more water since it is an ice giant. Um, yeah, it's looking, it definitely needs a little. It is a proper ice giant, isn't it? So it needs to have a good amount of water contained. I mean, actually, again, we'll compare it to Uranus and Neptune's water to get to make it. You know, because remember we are going for a realistic design here, so we need to have it matching the other ice giants. You know, as a good uh, good reference point. So you can see Uranus and Neptune. They've got heavy, heavy water amounts. But remember, this is bigger, so maybe it did get more high. But we're going to give it a huge amount of water. It's a massive water. There we go. 
So yeah, that's a, I think that's a solid amount. And then it's got the rocky coral sea in the middle, but you can't really see that. But yeah, there we go. So again, we'll save that. Get our stats all locked in. Cool. Right, now onto the moons. So now we'll probably give this guy rings as well, actually. Um, let's just have a look. Like, the other gas giant has rings, doesn't it? Uh, where are we? Yeah, it does. Yeah, so we'll definitely give this guy some rings as well. Oh, it looks so good as well. Let's just line it up with the other planets in here. Oh, yeah, I think that fits perfectly, actually. Yeah. Who's losing material? Someone's losing material. I see a spray of material. Go, what's going all that? <laughs> what is causing that? We have to fix that, whatever that is, because that's going to be annoying. I think it's one of these, isn't it? it? Looks to be one of the moons. Probably the moons of our Venus like world, actually, isn't it? But I tell you what, this is a this is a pretty cool lineup we've got going on so far, isn't it? Right. Cool. But we'll have to check that and see what's uh, what objects losing material because that'll be a bit annoying. So we may have to go back and modify that. Right, anyway, so we'll press play. So it unfold. Right. Moons. So I'm thinking we'll go try and go for maybe six sort of decent sized moons, and we'll have some more like asteroid like ones as well. So I'm thinking a Maybe a cold Titan or a cold, thick atmosphere world. So, could try and combine sort of two moons we know together. So, maybe like a Titan Triton kind of mix together could be quite interesting. So, what do we want to use? So, I think we'll actually use Titan itself as a template here. Place it, place it a good distance away. Okay, so there it is. Now, underneath, so, I don't know if this surface will have, I'll, let's try and actually add some water to it, because I think Titan's surface doesn't respond well to water, if I remember right, I don't think it had an elevation map at one point, I'm not sure what temperature is it, so I might just put it to zero, I just want to make sure that works, um, melt the water and settle the water, okay, right, and then just lower this, oh no, it does have a map, okay, or well, it does have some sort of elevation map. It contains a lot of water. I don't know if I like the texture. Titan's texture has always been a really buggy, kind of weird one. So I, I'm not going to roll with that. I'm going to go with a different texture, actually. But I've already got the size and the, the rough size of how I want the object to be. So that's good. Um, just to make it different from Titan, though, we will just jack up the sizes a bit and then go with something like that. Okay. Maybe a little larger. Right, okay. So it's already got the atmosphere. So we can come, we can come back to that. Now it's about getting the texture right. So... I always like Planet 15. I think that's the one with the craters, isn't it? And then uh, let's remove Titan off the... Oh, that's flat. Okay. <laughs> Series. Hang on. Why is that doing that? Um... There you go. Okay, that's more like it. It's got craters, but we need more of a surface going on there. Dion, maybe? There's definitely no water on it. Okay. Right, no, that's panic. Oh, that's why, because it wasn't switched on. <laughs> right, um, how about a Venus? Because Venus has quite a cool elevation map, actually. It's got the craters. I'm going to mix a bit of Venus in there as well, just to give a little more to it. I do like the craters there, that's looking good. Um, oh, I... What do we have for someone else's the base design? So we just switch that off for now, right? So, so why can't I see anything? That's a bit weird. So elevation map two works, but not elevation map one. That's a bit strange. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to start from scratch. I don't know if this world's slightly bugged or anything because we already used because it was a tight synergy. Okay, we'll go again. We'll just go random rocky. That always works best. Place it, yeah. Roughly, roughly there. It's actually a little further out, isn't it? We can, we can shrink that down. So I wanted to make it a little more inclined as well. I want to try and have all the moons slightly inclined to sort of fit the axis of the planet as well. Put that there. Um, we'll keep it in that distance, actually. And then size-wise, I mean, it's already roughly um, where we want him, actually. Um, how, how large is that, actually, to Titan? I think that, that's looking roughly... So it's actually a little smaller. Okay. 
Well, I know Mercury's. I know Mercury's radius, so I'm actually going to build it off that. So Mercury's 2,440. So I'm actually going to make it a little larger than Mercury. Yeah, so a tad, just a tad larger than Mercury there. Okay, right. I tell you what, the texture it's come with is already pretty good as well. So what is that? That's map eight and map ten. So which one is the one with the craters on it? Okay, so map. So we're going to keep map ten. Now map eight. I'm going to give this to fourteen or fifteen because this one also has craters on it. I think it's fifteen. Yeah. Oh yes. And the color of this world's already looking pretty, pretty nice as well actually. So it needs an atmosphere. So again, I'm actually going to base it off Titan's atmosphere. So he's getting a lot of inspiration from Titan for this. So, what is Titan's atmosphere? It is... How much is that? An ATM. So it is 0 0.97 ATM. So, you know, it's a, it's a really good atmosphere, Titan, you know. Um, where are we? ATM. 0 0.74. Just a tad different. So there we go. So it's got an atmosphere. Now... At this distance, you know, I'm going to make it kind of like a maybe a deeper blue, maybe, and we'll turn this uh, straight away. I like the deeper colours. Right. Maybe we keep it with the Titan kind of orange, you know, the very methane-heavy atmosphere. Make it a deep, yeah, real deep orange, maybe, but yeah, also lower this down. And then clouds, I don't think we're going to be seeing many of those on this world when it gets cold. So we're going to put it straight to minus 150 press play because those clouds should disappear when it gets that cold but for now we're going to look underneath because that's where i want to be All right now how do i want it color wise to look contain the terrain i'll make those craters look a little more yeah that's looking pretty good and then base color I can also change the contrast as well make it look a lot more yeah, right. Okay, colours. Right, what are we thinking? So, I think we want some lighter pale areas. And maybe some deep sort of brownish kind of look to it. And then what's high elevation? Keep those as white. Yeah, we'll keep those because then they actually show up quite well, actually. We'll keep those as white. Middle elevation. Maybe like a more Titan kind of orange. So, again, let's actually just compare to oh, Titans. Ah. Yeah, because the Titan texture in this game isn't coloured anymore. It used to be like a brownish orange, but I'm thinking, yeah, we'll go with something like that. Try and get a good look of it. Now, I do want to add some pockets here. So the methane, try and add like some methane, or what would represent methane oceans. So what I need to do is I need to actually just melt, settle water, melt all and settle. Oh, they fit perfectly. Oh, that's a great combo, that is. Okay, so remember... <laughs> Planet 15 and Planet 10. Great combo there. That is a... They, do, they fill in really nicely. And then... Um, what colour do we want to represent methane? I guess we'll go with like a light blue, I guess. That's what the that's what the new... Ver that's what the upcoming version of Universe Sandbox actually gives methane. It's a blue like that. So I'm actually going to copy this colour over to Ice and Snow as well to represent methane since we don't have methane in the game just yet. But it is coming. So there we go. So that's all there. So now what we need to simply do is freeze it. And it's there you go. So it's still there. Press play. So there you go. So you've got your methane looking zones. That looks really good actually. I really like that combination. I mean, it just looks really cool together. And then we need to also give our... Cloud, oh, we can just turn the clouds off, can't we? We don't really. I mean, give it a little. I mean, obviously, it's got a thick atmosphere, so in theory, it would have, you know, the thick cloud set going on it. Okay, there you go. And then, obviously, atmosphere is where it's at. So it's a very Titan-inspired world, but it's not going to have a thick, as thick atmosphere as Titan itself. But I'm going to definitely have that very strong, vibrant orange that Titan would have. So I want to go with something like that. So you can still see the methane oceans. I've got to say, that's a good looking moon. You know, I could see something like that being, a, you know, maybe existing maybe out there. You know, you never know. But I think that's a good design. You know, or we could we could do different shades. But no, I think the orange just looks really good on that. So, deep orange, definitely. Okay. So maybe we call it, uh, so, Titanus. Titanus. <laughs> There we go. That's cool. I really, really like the way those oceans are frozen there. That looks really, really good. All right, so first of the moons, done. 
that's how I guess that'll be our biggest moon as well for sure. And actually, we'll have veg if Hattable will switch vegetation on. So maybe in the far future, you know, when we start evolving this system, once we've finished the system, maybe this will be a life candidate at some point. We will see. So that's only if it's Hattable. Yeah. Maybe city lights as well, if Hattable. Done. Cool. Looking good. I do like that. I think that looks really good, actually. Right. So there you go. Very nice indeed. Maybe a little more mass. And oh, no, no, I think we just leave it the way it is really now. 0.05 earth masses. Because I'm just thinking if I'm preparing it for the future, maybe it does need a little more mass to survive. So let's just compare it to the mass of Mercury, actually. I just want to see. 0.05 is Mercury. This has 0.05. Oh, I mean, it's roughly there. I mean, this is, this is basically just a, a larger version of Mercury in a way. So... There you go. Okay, cool. Right, I'm going to stick with that. I'm very pleased with that. I think that looks, actually looks really good. Nice big orange band there. And I'll see this guy. We need to give you a nice trail colour, don't we? Nice mix between Uranus and Neptune shades there. So it'd be something like that. Cool. Okay. Now I'm thinking we also need some genetic moons. They can't all be fancy. So we're going to go with sort of three moons in between Titanus and the parent planet. So we're going to go random moon. Right, now we've got to get this. I want them on the tilt. So, go one, two, and then a third one, maybe. I think a third one. Or do we have it closer? We could have it closer, yeah. Three. And then we're going to have some moons further out as well. So, we're going to go. Yeah, definitely more further out. I'm going to go one and then two. And then we're going to have some random asteroids just sprayed around as well, just for extra effect. Cool. So, innermost moon here. It's already looking pretty good. So we're gonna okay. If we're gonna if it's generated like that, we will build off that. So we're gonna immediately freeze it and not vaporize. <laughs> Whoops! Freeze that back. No atmosphere though. Or oh, do I keep it? Ah, we'll keep it. We'll, no, we'll keep it. We'll keep it the way it is. It actually contains a little hydrogen as well. This guy. So this will be a frozen kind of maybe we're building off um, a frozen Enceladus Europa kind of look now. So. Base colour, get rid of that orange. Froze it, freeze it up. Frozen rock. Um, textures. I mean, it's already... What, what, what is it running right now? So it's running at planet 8 and 7. Let's go to... I'm going to throw a mercury texture in there. Little more craters going on. Yes. Good. And there you go. First moon straight up. I think that's looking pretty decent. And then um, I'm going to make the atmosphere very, very thin on appearance. So it is there, but very, very thin. It's got pockets of ice and water. Pretty basic, but they can't all be fancy moons. Because that kind of defeats the purpose of it being a sort of realistic-esque system. Next up, we got this one. That texture's looking very basic, isn't it? What was it running? Planet 12 and 8. Let's just get a full look at this guy. Looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Right, so we're definitely changing that. So, I mean, Saturn's moons are always very good ones to use. So let's go over Rhea and... Apertus combined. So it's just got the nice load of craters. There's a bigger crater there as well. From uh, Iapetus's crater. Base colour. Again, generic rock. I mean, they can't all be fancy, so... Oh yeah, that looks so good like that. I mean, it's just it's a moon. I mean, that's what... <laughs> that's all it is. It's just a generic moon. So there you go. They can't all be fancy. It's got the nice big crater, though. Cool. Maybe we turn the contrast to the elevation. I'll make it a little more interesting. I think it's contrast, isn't it? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know. It doesn't really, doesn't really work for the exaggerated train on this one. Okay, fine. We'll leave that alone. Next moon out. We've got Mol here. So, no, we're not having another atmosphere world. No way. So the atmosphere is getting stripped off completely. The atmosphere, bye bye, gone. Um, pockets of ice, okay. Um, we can roll with that. Because they can contain water. There's no nothing stopping them containing water. For freeze. There you go. Base color, and actually texture first. Pluto and Mars. 
we need to settle the water again uh, just so it freezes correctly um, surface isn't it yeah melt settle refreeze yeah colors there you go I mean uh, nice and simple and we'll get a slight pale brown as well there you go cool earth where the earth come from two earths get out of here I don't remember you placing earths well okay <laughs> right Ooh, I definitely think this guy's he needs to be tilted more doesn't he just looking at that orbit He's actually the least tilted of them all, so let me just actually get that right. So I'm actually going to move him back there and actually just lower it manually. Like that. Just to keep him in line. Yeah. Alright. Cool. I do apologise if you can hear me. My nose. I've got a bit of a sniffles today. <laughs> I do apologise. Right, so. Random moon, yes. Go one and two is the furthest moon out. It's quite a big gap between the furthest moon there. Again, it's generated another uh, flight world. What is this? Get out of here. Right, bye bye. And I'm not having water on you either. Gets none of that. Size wise, too large. Make it smaller. I need to actually check the sizes of these. I didn't actually check how large some of these are. We do not want to mess it up. So let's go for the planet 10 and Enceladus this time. How does that look? Well, that is an interesting combo, isn't it? Okay. Base color. Generic rock. Uh, this takes us to look a bit weird together, actually. Let's go uh, down. Get more craters in there. Yeah, oh yes. Ooh, I do like that, actually, yeah. Put Dion's craters really ma mashed in there. Yeah, that's looking cool. Size wise, it's small. 0 0.8, so how much is that? It's, I wish it said it in kilometres. Five, it's a small Mimus size kind of object there. This guy, three, yeah, that's too large. <laughs> Carving that straight down, let's put that to around 900. Maybe it will be generous, give it about 1,100. But in that case, I'm going to move it further away from the from our Titan like moon. So now it's orbits crossing over, so we're going to. Actually, maybe we could have the crossover orbits just to sort of show a bit of impact from our large Titan like moon there, so we'll stick with that actually. There we go, and then just check how large these are. So 0.3 masses of Earth, no way, half that down straight away. So we've lost our kind of water unfortunately but oh well it's fine the way it is all right and then you how large are you so points again I, I think i used the wrong uh size templates for this guys didn't i all right these are a lot smaller as they're closer to the planet maybe and then closest moon in oh yeah that's still large make you small as well it's kind of lost its ice it had though so we will re-add some of that back freeze there you go cool and also you as well need to re-add your could you add some a uh, little bits of water as well let's get that back maybe not as much as it had before and then the freeze done cool so i like how the orbits are all tilted that's pretty awesome We've got you as here, so let's customize you as well. Again, but you know, you need you need some generic rock moons. You can't have them all fancy. So Rhea and Io has an interesting mix. Base color. There we go. Let's get that out of here. Right. How's that looking? Maybe like a lighter blue zone to represent some ice, maybe. We're quite a reflective world we've got here, so maybe we'll have a give this guy a high albedo. I do like the blue patches, though. That actually does look really cool. Yeah, we'll stick with that. And then, um... Where are we? Yeah, light blue trail. Albedo. Very reflective. Uh, where are we? 
already has a very reflective one put it up high. 0 0.89. Very reflective world there. Tilt that down more. And then you as well. We're going to tilt you down a bit more. Cool. So there is our planet with its moons. Looking good. First world's a little too tilted. Let's put that up a little bit more. And then just retilt the planet just slightly to line up with that. Okay, there you go. And add the uh, save in. There we go. Sweet. That's looking good. I'm liking that. Cool. Right, and I think lastly, all it needs doing is the finishing touches. So. Rings. Saturn. I mean, it's roughly the size of Saturn, so it should be able to go straight on them without any problems. There you go. Done. Decent gap between the planet and the rings as well. And there you go. Simple as that. Yeah. Pleased with that. And then lastly, just some asteroids on the outskirts. Random asteroid. Um, we'll have those in the far orbit. So these will be the real wild orbits. So... Two, three. I'm not going to bother customizing any of these. They are literally just there for visual purposes. Yeah. Maybe, and actually, how did our Jupiter? Maybe Jupiter. Maybe are more Jupiter like. Yeah, that's already got them, hasn't it? Yeah. All right. Cool. So there we go. You ran a tune. Realistic ice giant. Realistic moon system with it. I think they're all fair. That should all. They should all orbit perfectly fine. There. We will run it to make sure it works. That's looking perfect. I've not even seen any orb or orbs or anything. So you've got the Titanite moon there looking good. Plenty of sunlight from Sirius. Obviously the parent star over there. Decent distance away. Looking great. Put the trails on. See it all in action. Awesome stuff. Very, very pleased with that. I think that's a really nice build I've put together there. But yeah, I'll let you guys be the judges of that in the comments. What do you think of that? Yeah, I'm pleased with that. That's looking good. Yeah. They've got the rings going. Yeah, that is cool. I really, really do like the way that's turned about. But before we finish up, I did want to check who is losing material. Now, what I can do to find this is I put a white background, so prepare to be blinded. I want to see which object's losing material. There's a, tr there's a smoke trail coming out of something in the inner solar system. And I don't know where it is. Fragments. So what's that? Why is there fragments there? Who is losing mass? So what's this come from? They're usually in a line. See, what what is the cause of that then? That is really weird. Can't be you, because you're just an asteroid. I'm not sure. Fragment there. So what what is losing this mass? Is it that? It can't be that thing has got plenty of mass to it. I have no idea. Maybe it's this one? No? I'm just trying to look for any trails of material loss. Let's go back to that. I've got on the white galactic one, why not? Right. Someone down here is losing mass. I don't know who it is. See, what is all this particle? You can see there's a load of particles there coming from something. If I press play, maybe we'll see who it is. So it's definitely it's one of these. There's two of them. Okay, so these two here. What is going on between these two? So there, there, there are mass. Look, look at all the mass they're throwing out. What is that all about? Right. So, what is. The, where are we? Ah. Oh, it's both of them. It's both Astrid and that's. A, they're both losing material. Now, I mean, I'm not surprised with Sirius right there. Um, I think it's just they just need a little more mass. So, we're just going to have a little tweak here. I'm going to just buff them up. Ah. Stop losing mass. So what? what is that? Is, that? is that water it's losing or? No, it's not. Why is that? Why is it losing mass? 300 degrees. Because if I make it too big, it's going to obviously upset Venus world there. So I have no idea why that's doing that. It's very annoying though, because I don't like extra particles being curated. Um... Bido, maybe? Does that stop it? <laughs> no, he's still doing it. What? Why? If anyone has any ideas why, please let me know. 
I have no idea why that's doing that. Because normally giving it a bit more mass should fix it. So I have no idea why that's losing material. I mean, I don't think adding water or hydrogen would do anything, would it? No. I mean, what, what, why is that? Look, mass loss. Look how quick it's losing mass. Like, well, why, why is that? Anyone know why? I, I, I'm not sure why that's doing that. And it's the same with the other moon as well. That one's doing it. Both losing mass. And I have no idea why. 0.1 road. That... <laughs> I want to say it's the mass, but I don't know. Because you, normally objects start smoking up if it's a mass problem. But I do, honestly, I do not know. If anyone knows why, please let me know. I'll definitely be out reading your comments on that. Because that is really, really annoying. Hmm, strange. But anyways, guys, we'll finish up uh, the episode there. So I'll just pause that now. I'll quickly fix that after, we, uh, after we're finished here. So all the way over to our ice giant. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this build down below in the comments as well. And also, yeah, let me know about that uh, smoking up moons there. Because I've got no idea why they're doing that. Um, but yeah, that all said and done. If you enjoyed this video, let's see if we can go for... Let's go for 100 likes on today's video, guys. And also subscribe if you're new as well. Help us on journey to 40,000. We're almost at 31 as well. So really massive thank you to you all for that as well. We should probably hopefully have that in the coming week. Really, really uh, big thanks to you. Really, really appreciate it. And yeah, guys, make sure you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.